Okay, C. Lindelof videos. Solving trig equations with sum and difference rules of sine. It's like a pretty easy problem, but the reason I chose this particular problem is because it has both sum and difference rules in it, so I thought this would be helpful. And we're asked to find all solutions from 0 to 2 pi of the equation sine x plus pi force plus sine of x minus pi force is equal to negative 1. And what I'm suggesting to you is that I see this as two different pieces, and I'm going to work on it as two different pieces. So the first piece that I'm going to work on is this one, is the piece right here. And this piece, if you look at it, is obviously a sum rule, isn't it? So I'm going to use this rule right here. So that's what I'm working from. And I'm just going to ignore the second part for now. So it suggests that we're supposed to take that sine of a plus b is equal to sine alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta. I'm just going to follow this formula, which we have memorized. So that gives us... No, it doesn't. Sorry, that gives us sine x cosine pi force, right? Plus, this plus is this one, cosine x sine pi force. And then I'm just going to move on. I'm just going to take one quick look at the problem for a second because it's plus here. So this plus sign is just me bringing the equation down, right? I'm just, I have to keep it all put together. Now I'm going to go to this part and I'm going to evaluate this piece. And you can see that this is a difference rule, right? Because it's x minus this thing. So we look at the difference rule and it says that sine of alpha minus beta is sine alpha cosine beta minus cosine alpha sine beta. Just a formula that we memorize. So we see that this is alpha and that this is beta. So we want sine x cosine pi force, right? And it says that we're going to subtract. So this minus sine is this one right here. And then it says we want cosine x, right? Sine beta, which happens to be pi force. And remember that the whole thing was set equal to negative one. This negative one is this one. From here, just going to clean this up a little bit. Just going to clean this up. And if you look carefully, see that we have we have a cosine x sine pi force minus the same thing. So, so term 2 and term 4 cancel each other out. So I'm just going to bring down term 1 and term 3 because they, they're still there, right? It's still in play. So you have sine x cosine pi force. You may be tempted here to um, evaluate cosine pi force, but I, I'm not going to. I usually wait until there's a really good reason to do it. So I'm going to hang on for a minute. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to see if I can factor this and clean this up a little bit because I still have it in two terms. So I'm going to factor out that cosine pi force. And I'm just showing you what I'm doing here. You could do this a simpler way, but it would leave us sine x plus sine x, wouldn't it? If you look at that just for a second, the only question is if I multiply this back in, I get this piece. And if I multiply it back into here, I get this piece. Same, everything's the same. In to st <laughs> Sorry, you guys, but to state the obvious, sine x plus sine x is 2 sine x, isn't it? Two of those, negative 1. Then I'm going to factor out this 2. I'm just going to take this 2 and I'm going to put it out here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm going to evaluate cosine pi force. So this is 2. Cosine pi force, if you evaluate that, it comes out to be 1 over 2 square roots of 2, doesn't it? And I'm going to keep our sine x, obviously. Sine x is equal to negative 1. We're almost there, and I'm going to actually stop in a second. Just, just from here, I'm just going to simplify this out a little bit. This 2 and this 2 cancel. It gives me 1 over square root 2. Sine x is equal to negative 1. And then obviously here, multiply by the reciprocal. And then at the very end, you're going to take arc sine to find the angles that match. All right, so I hope this is helpful. I guess what I'm really trying to get to is that if you memorize these two formulas, it will really give you a head start in a lot of ways. It helps with trig identities. It really helps with trig identities. And it helps with finding solutions to equations. So if, you, if I was given advice, I would say these are two uh, formulas that you really want to memorize. So thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, let me know. And if you haven't already um, subscribed, please do. Appreciate it.